life happened. <laughs> Happy Farm Friday. I actually forgot to go live last week because I was in Miami. Um, but we've got two new little babies. Come here, say hi, little babies. Come here, say hi. Um, so I didn't know that my goat was pregnant. I blame it on being a first time goat owner. And also she was a teen mom. I actually, I'm like a legit mom. I never witnessed my children having sex, just saying. But apparently she got pregnant on the very first and only time they ever did it because I literally never witnessed it. I've seen my goat trying to, you know, put a baby inside my pigs, but never inside his goatee girlfriend. But sure enough, she was actually smuggling babies in there for the last five months and I had no idea. So you guys, I don't have a super well thought out lesson for you today but I thought it was very appropriate to be like, hello, life happens. So I was actually sitting in Miami at the Platinum Retreat at the dinner table. We were having some, you know, adult beverages. I think I had just done the live with you guys um, with Allie and Shannon. And I got a text from my boyfriend and it said, call me ASAP, dot, 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 goat head babies. And mind you, if you're just joining us, I had no idea that my goat was pregnant. <laughs> so um, bless her heart. So lots of little lessons in here. And like I said, I have nothing planned. So don't mind me rambling. Uh, my goat had babies all by herself. No prenatal care, no delivery care. She had babies all by herself. Um, Dan came home to put them to put them away for the night because we locked them up for the night so you know no bobcats and mountain lions make a snack out of them hi baby girl and and there she was with two babies so i was across the country and so i was unable to help and dan is you know not the most fatherly yet um so he wasn't the most helpful so we had to think quick on our feet so i called the vet um, thank goodness I have a really great mobile vet and the mobile vet was able to come right out the day after. So these guys were born sometime on Thursday um, and the vet came out on Friday. And this one right here, come here baby girl. Come here. Ugh. This one right here, she's our little miracle baby. So she's the littler one of the two and maybe... I don't know why, but mom go over there is really not caring for this one. The other little baby under the table is like her honor student and she's kind of rejecting this one a little bit. So my vet said when on Friday when she came out, she's like, I don't know if the little baby is gonna make it, but we'll see. And you guys, she came out, the vet came out again yesterday and was like, I really didn't think that little baby was gonna make it, but I didn't wanna tell you and ruin your trip. Oh my God, so that upset me because we could have lost her, but we didn't lose her. So anyway, the mom is being a little bit of a brat and I don't know if she'll do it here on camera, but sometimes she even charges this one with her horns and tries to headbutt her. Um, and she definitely doesn't let her nurse on her at all. So what I've been doing is coming out and literally trapping mom. Like I have a gi giant black and blue mark right here, catching a horn there. Um, and I, I hope like bear hug her and give her treats while she's getting bear hugged, just so we're clear, she's not totally getting tortured. And I let the baby nurse on her three times a day. <sighs> so anyway, the lesson is that life happens, even when you don't think your kids are having sex. <laughs> And you just deal with it as you go and you know survival of the fittest blah 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 where there's a will there's a way i mean we could just kind of let mother nature figure it out but i'm really just not okay with losing any baby goats so yeah so we're friends now right she doesn't totally hate me but she doesn't come as close as she was before so yeah i just hold her and let the baby nurse on her at least three times a day sometimes it's four or five just to be just to be sure um i've got some extra little alfalfa treats for mom because you know she wasn't planning on having babies and so i give her some extra treats to help her make her feel special 
Okay, so that's my story. I can't very much see comments from over here, but I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, but the lesson, let's tie it back to a lesson in our business. So teen mom over here, she's actually going to be one year old in a month. So she got pregnant right when she came into puberty, if you will. Um, so this is a first time mom. She doesn't necessarily have a lot of training, right? She's a brand new consultant, if you will. She just had a baby, started a business, and I'm here to help her, right? I'm like her sponsor. And the vet is another person that she found on YouTube or on Posh Bosses that gives her, um, you know, a little bit of help here and there. Her sponsor is here every single day to help her. And she started to grow a downline, right? And she's got a favorite little downline and she's got a downline that she's not caring for all that very much. But her sponsor is stepping in and caring for that downline that she doesn't take very good care of because that's how we do it. You guys, I'm coming up with this on the fly. So you don't have to necessarily be besties with your mom right or your first sponsor you can reach out to your sponsor above that you can reach out to posh bosses to the vet um and you figure it out as you go and while the little one oh they're so cute i don't know if you guys can see them i'm gonna try to show you a little closer to newest can you see that sorry guys i don't know where the camera is say hi you guys are on poshpreneurs the two newest team members down there, they're always sticking together. So I made a post the other day asking if you guys had a buddy or if you needed a buddy. I would encourage you to go look for that post because this is what you need. You need to have a buddy. Whether you're the stronger one that mom favors or the weaker one that's just trying to survive, when you stick together, you've got a lot uh, stronger of a chance of survival, right? So there, that's the lesson I came up with for Farm Friday. <laughs> and tell this mom to start being a better sponsor. She needs to feed both of those babies. You guys, I am seriously getting muscles from trying to hold that woman down. I took a video today of me holding the goat because, I mean, people honestly wouldn't even believe it. The babies are always hanging out under that table all together. But it makes me feel better because even when she's being a bad mom and trying to charge at that baby, at least there's like a safe place for her to hide. So the, the little barn that we're in right now, it used to be one big open room. But apparently when goats have babies, the dad goat gets jealous immediately and, you know, tries to kill the baby or... Maybe doesn't try to, but could kill the baby because they're jealous and so they get really aggressive. So we have, again, you adapt as you go, you learn as you go. We erected this temporary wall right here. So the other side, if you can see from the outside, the other side is the side that's connected to the pasture. And so daddy goat and all the pigs go in there at night and we're here in our little nursery with the babies and the mommy. And so they'll live here in this nursery um, for the first month of their lives, which feels like confined, but the vet promises me mom doesn't even have to get out and stretch her legs. But anyway, I come and check on them at least three times a day. Sometimes I'm just here all day. Um, I had my mouth surgery earlier this week. So you guys, sorry, I haven't been super on top of super everything, but, but I have to keep that baby alive in the meantime and keep mama oh happy right mama you guys stay happy yeah see she's gotten a little skittish because now i pin her down every time i can get a hold of her but i will grab a video a little clip of the video i just took when um the baby is nursing the little tail wag is the cutest but anyway happy farm friday sorry i missed last week um but yeah we've got new babies i'll leave you with another clip of them let me see oh good i can turn the camera around say hi oh say hi to your friends are you hiding back there yeah aren't they so pretty okay say everybody have a good day okay bye bye 
All right, you guys, have a great um, rest of your Friday. Thanks so much for joining me, and go grow your business. Bye-bye.